Welcome back to another video. Today we're writing a C++ program that's going to remove all non-letters from user input. For example, if someone enters this string right here, Ruben O24 space Ortega, it's going to remove the space and the numbers and then just return everything that's a letter. So first we're going to define some variables. We could say string user input. This is going to hold the user input. And then string, we'll call it only letters. That's going to be the string with only the letters, pretty much. And then we could say git line, and then we'll pass in cn, and then user input. All this does, it gets the line. Whatever the user enters into the line with the keyboard is going to be stored into user input. And the way we're going to check if it's like a letter, we're going to iterate through the whole string starting in the beginning. So we're going to start at r, and then we can use an if loop to check. Is r a letter? It is. Then we're going to go to u. Is u a letter? Yeah, yeah, it is. Once we get to 2, is u is 2 a letter? No. So we're going to skip the 2. Same with 4 and same with space. So the way we could do that, we could use a for loop. You say 4 into i equal to 0, i less than user input dot length. The, way we're, the reason we're saying i less than user input dot length because once we get to a, we want to stop. So we don't get an index out of bound. And then we can increment i. So that pretty much goes through the whole string, but we need some logic in there. We can use an if statement to check if the current character at i is a letter or not. So we could say if, let's put my little parentheses correctly, if user input dot at i, we're going to say greater or equal to big A. If it's greater or equal to, it's, it falls between A, but we also I want to make sure it falls between uh, Z. And then we can do and user input dot at I less than or equal to big Z, to the big character Z. The way it's doing this is using ASCII and it's comparing. You don't really have to understand it, but uh, that's pretty much what it's doing. So right, we're here we're checking if uh, the current character at i is either between a and between z, but they're capital. So we have to check if they're also between lowercase. So we can just pretty much copy and paste this. These two letters just means or, those two lines. So if it's between a and z capital, or if it's between lowercase a and lowercase z, then it's obviously a letter. So we could say only letters plus equals to user input dot at i. So whatever character it is, if it's a letter, it's going to add it to only letters. i starts at 0 because the string starts at 0. And then once we check here, we're going to keep i going until we get to the end. Remember, if it's only if it's a, only if it's a letter, it's going to be added. If it's a number, it's not going to fall between a and z, or a and z lowercase. Uh, so it's pretty much, that's the logic right there. Uh, now we can just pretty much print the um, only letters. We could say C out only letters, and then we could do end line. And then we could return zero to saying there's no, like, no error. So we're pretty much done with the program. Now let's run it, and let's, uh, let's test our test case, which would be Rubino 24 space Ortega. So it should remove the oh it should remove the 24 and the space. If we do that, it does. And now let's run some other tests. Let's do LeBron 23 James. It should just print LeBron James. Yep, that works. Let's one one more. Let's do my name, Ruben, a bunch of spaces, or tell you. It'll just print my name. Wait, it removes the spaces and it removes uh, like numbers. So let me get rid of this and put the code back on screen. If this helped you in any way, please leave a like and subscribe.